Here we are on the spit. And I'm gonna give you a little tour of what is on the west side of the spit. That if you came and camped here in Homer, Alaska, what could you see? Hey guys. So the first one you got here is, looks like Boardwalk Fish and Chips. They're gonna open at 11 o'clock and they will close about 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. And right here, I'm gonna be back on this one here. I'm gonna have another hand. Boardwalk Fish and Chips, but right below it is, or is the Espresso. Yes, I will need to come back for a little bit of coffee or something like that. Let me walk a little closer so you can see what's going to be on that list if he would come. You want some of that, right? No, I just made you thirsty and you want to go get another coffee. All right, here's the spirit of Alaska Native Crafts across from Alaska. North Country Charters. Yes, you are hearing people in the background. Let's just quick, quick glance here. We have a lot of people here waiting for their charters this morning. And that one's called the North Country Halibut Charters. Since 1979. Yes, a lot of charters going out for halibut, cod, king salmon, Alaska Bear Adventures. Pretty cool. Got a little carved bear down here. Look at that. We even got a poppy. No, I've been deep sea fishing before. Yeah. What else is down this little boulevard here? Finn's wood wood fired pizza. Right here. Stack of wood. They're open at 12 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Thursday through Monday. This one's interesting. You got another charter. Halibut and salmon fishing. Put that up there. Sea kayaking, marine wildlife tours, water taxi, bear viewing, flight scene. Called Inlet Charters. I will not have time it's for that. Loud, it's always lively. We're going to be heading across Cook Inlet later today, most likely. Because of time and weather. What do you need? This might be a gift store. Let's see here. The outside, it looks like a gift store. Yeah, there's a little bit of clothes in there. AK Starfish Company. We're opening a different spot, it looks like. What do we have coming up next year? Eagle Vision. Yes, everybody's going to need their sunglasses so they don't get the glare off the water. They will open a little later today, apparently. Yes. And here is another gift shop, Mariner Gifts. All these have different styles of roof structures. You can see that up there. And this one here. It's like a really thick wood shingle. This one's called Fish Connection. Another half day or full day halibut charter tours. And gifts. What else do we got here? Rainbow tours. You know, I saw this boat last night as I was um, going to the restroom one more time and uh, before closing, and there was this really bright boat. I was like, whoa. I mean, it was like shining in the water. 
rainbow tours. I'm not actually sure I'd be able to do that. I, I, that might actually hurt my eyes while I was trying to do something. Because I wouldn't be here for the boat specifically, but the awesome mountains, range, things like that. Homer Ocean Charters, some more charters. Look at that, that's sort of cool. Place right here to clean your fish. Oh, big area to clean your fish. Water, rinse it off. You know, one thing I've noticed too, a lot of people are wearing the little, um, it almost looks like a little bandage behind their ear. Um, I, th I believe they wear that for some motion, possible sickness that could happen. Here's a little bigger one. Central Charter and Tours. We must have a lot of stuff inside. Yep, spit gear. Pretty neat. Here's uh, Captain Patty's in the yellow building. What do they got on there? Wow. Halibut, king salmon, silver salmon, red salmon, steamed clams, razor clams, crab oyster, crabs and oysters. Wow, there's a, I guess a seafood lover's dream to maybe eat right here. That's one of the biggest ones. Big building there. Only a few more on this part. Sea lion art. Okay. And cold water. Got water taxi tours adventure. Sounds pretty cool. And I gotta try and get up a little closer there. I'm gonna work my way back. They got a cool map I gotta show you. Carmen's, well, it's Italian ice cream, made fresh daily. Looks pretty neat. Oh yeah, and then I had said that AK Starfish Company had to put store a different spot. Wow, there it is, it actually looks pretty cool. But let's go um, first, take a look at this cool basket. Nice and big. Got some big flowers in there. As much as I was going to say maybe a super tunia basket, I'm almost thinking a wave basket. It almost looks like waves to me. Down this little guy down here. Got some bacopa and what else do we got here? A little bilia in the back here. And an agiranthemum in the middle. Pansy lost its way right in this little half um, water spout. A few more here for your delight. Very welcoming at the ice cream store. Oh, of course, uh, Superbell's basket. Oh, it's got a little verbena in though. But here, let's, let's look at this. When I was talking about the spit, I gave you a little picture here. So, way over here is, is Cook Inlet, and that's what we're going to cross later today. This is Homer up here, and then this is approximately two and a half miles that comes down here. And we've been sitting the last, I've been here the last few days right on this side. And you are over here. Um... And then this is, of course, the opposite side. So you got Catchmack Bay going down this direction. So pretty neat. Um, see, there is a lot of water interplaced with the land. Pretty neat.
It is time for that coffee. I told you guys I was going to get back down the boardwalk to get to the coffee, and I am here. Um, can you tell me your name and where am I at right now? My name is Alex, and you're at the end of the Homer Spit in Homer, Alaska. And he is going to fix me apparently the best Homer drink that I can take back in my memory to Wisconsin. So what what are you going to make for me today? I'm going to make you a stoked honey latte with a local stoked fireweed honey and uh, organic milk, locally roasted beans. Nice. Awesome. Well, guys, uh, this should be terrific. I'll let you know how it tastes. All right, thank you. Yeah. After me messing it up. What? Guys, yeah. look at that presentation. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow, pretty cool. Well, here's that coffee. Remember, it's got a little honey in there, wildfire honey. Some great coffee beans. Let's see how that's gonna taste. Terrific. I can say, I'm not sure I have bought a coffee that's had the honey in it and a few other things. Terrific. Um, Grass-fed milk was put in there. Not grass-fed milk. Grass-fed cow to get the milk that's awesome for you was in there as well. Right behind me here um, is a place that you could um, get your fish filleted, halibut, king salmon, whatever. It's called Coal Point. Um, Coal Point Trading Company here in Homer, Alaska. Got a quite quite a nice big facility here. They'll uh, you just you go out with your charter, you bring up your fish, and then they will flay them all down for you. And not even just do it at that. They'll also then uh, portion them up for you, flash freeze them, hold them for you until you're ready to go. Whether it's fly out or continue on your destination. And uh, yeah, what a way to keep your good quality fish. So, but beautiful out here. Let me just uh, spin you around here to see, well, what actually am I looking at here? Uh, of course, the sun is coming up in the east and uh, Kitch Kitchmeck um, uh, Bay here goes about, uh, I think it's 13 miles in from Cook Inlet. And I'll just spin you around here to see so you can see what I'm seeing. Snow-covered mountains in the background. Straight down below us there, I can keep an eye on our boat, see when Phil gets up. 43994 is our boat number. And yes, I don't know if you heard, but it's gonna be called the Salmon Shark. And just gonna have two boats that are called salmon shark I guess the biggest difference will be is different numbers and there's our ramp that goes up and down as the tide takes the water up and down that ramp goes up and down so yep, yeah, just relaxing here a little bit enjoying the possibly last day we're gonna most likely head over to the other side of Cook Inlet today and uh, I guess it's um, gonna take about seven-ish hours it's 70 miles um, to go across so thanks for watching enjoy the rest of your day if you haven't hit that subscribe button do so share it and if you want to see some more Alaska adventures just keep watching